Hello everyone, hope everything is going well. I know that practicing during holidays is not the easiest thing to do, so I'm going to tell you my practice routine for these holidays and for the new year and hopefully will give you some motivation and some ideas maybe you can use into your own practice routine. Let's get into it. So my plan is to practice four hours a day, six days a week, and on the seventh day to reduce it to three hours. Four hours I think is a good amount because it doesn't eat your whole day but it's still a decent amount so you, you feel in shape, you feel in fingers. The reason I reduce it one hour on the seventh day of the week so I only practice three hours it's so I feel you know mentally it's good to feel that you're taking it easier but still you're putting the work so you don't feel like a lazy you know. <laughs> in the morning I'm going to start with scales always. I'm going to do C major, D major and E flat major. Um, I'm going to start very slow with vibrato because I want to use the scales to warm up. You know, obviously if you vibrate you move more muscles, you move more the hand and the arm so you will warm up faster. For those of you who swear by playing scales without vibrato, well it's your house so you do whatever you want. My morning is going to be very solidly based on technique. So after the scales, which take me around 10 minutes, no more, I will move on to technical passages of the pieces that I'm playing. Right after the scales, I will do technical passages of the triple concerto Beethoven. I think it just transitions very well. I love how clean it feels in your hands when you are practicing these technical parts of like a classical concerto like Beethoven you can do, if you're not playing this, you can play Haydn, Vivaldi, Boccherini, whatever you want um, something early, early period, you know, so you need to work on this precision this very clean approach to the technique after these four or five spots of the triple concerto I'm, if I still feel like I need to continue warming up I might move into maybe second movement of Elgar or a few key variations of the Rococo all technically, maybe the scales of the fourth variation maybe the seventh variation all completely technical and just looking for clean, solid and warming up so usually this will take around 45 minutes until I feel that I am already warm and I can start to practice my pieces. Usually during the season I rarely get to play some Bach so I decided that this year, since I have more free time thanks to our dear virus, um, I'm going to work on the first, second and third suite. So every day after my scales I'm going to do either half a suite or a full suite of Bach, depends on how I'm feeling that day. So by the time I'm done with Bach that's already like an hour and a half I've been practicing. Now it's time for a little coffee. Get your focus back and then the last stretch of the morning. Since the morning has been very heavy on technical stuff, very looking for very clean technique, very light kind of playing, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go for really deep heavy playing, a lot of legato, a lot of vibrato. Then I will do maybe second movement of Brahms double, I will do maybe third or first movement of Elgar, just to get the other spectrum of feeling in, the, in your body. I think this is a very complete morning routine, so you have all your scales, you warm up, you have your very clean stuff, and then you go a little bit into the more deep heavy stuff. Um, so it's very complete, very compact, two hours, you are done. After practicing I will do some sport, run around, play some basketball, whatever you want. I'm using this time to feel in shape, both playing and physically. After lunch I'm going straight into my pieces. Since 2021 it seems that it's going to be a very tricky year. We are not really sure which concerts are going to happen and which not. I want to be always ready. I don't want to stress out in last minute, so I'm gonna have all my pieces ready. So there are like five, six concertos I want to have, I want to feel that I have in my hands. 
So I will organize them around the week. So every week I have played them all. If you don't know what to work on, what day you are not motivated, it helps a lot to record yourself. Record yourself and when you listen back, write down everything that is wrong. I'm sure you will find tons of things to work on. If one day is really, really impossible, you really don't want to play. Believe me, it happens to me as well. What I will do, and maybe it helps you, I'm going to read new stuff. There's a few things I need to read, a few things I didn't work before. Uh, so I will just use the time to read, work on new repertoire. And this, you know, usually helps you get back into the practicing mood. If any time that you don't feel like practicing, you would stop, I think it creates a bad precedent. It's all about discipline. So even if you don't want to practice, it's good to make an effort. So try to find a way that works for you to keep you practicing. Because you cannot imagine how many times I was this close of stopping practicing and I forced myself to, and then somehow I got into it again and I discovered something new, something very helpful. And if I wouldn't have continued practicing, I would have never discovered this. So you never know when the inspiration is gonna come or when you are going to discover something new. So if you set your limit in four, three, two, whatever the hours that you want to practice, commit. Um, that's it, guys. The rest of the day is yours. I hope this gives you a little bit of motivation. It's important to keep the discipline during these holidays, otherwise the holidays will fly by and you will have done zero work. So good luck, guys. I wish you all the best for 2021. I hope you're having a lovely time with your family and your loved ones. And I wish you great music and happy practicing.